Hey you guys, it's time for another empties video. I have a ton of products to go through and this isn't even all of them, but I'm not gonna go through all of my makeup. I've actually, I did something crazy this past week where I went through every single one of my makeup items and if it rated five or worse on the EWG, I am getting rid of it because I went to the functional medicine doctor in early April and I found out that I have Hashimoto's, I have low progesterone, and I have some other things going on in my body. And probably because I test so many products that have ingredients that do affect your hormones, I have no progesterone. So I am now taking a progesterone supplement and it's a whole thing, but I'm basically cleaning up my whole beauty routine. I've slowly been doing this for the past couple years, but I just went hardcore through my makeup this past week. and. It was really overwhelming, but it also felt kind of good. I, and then I also went through and checked for pore clogging ingredients in all of my makeup because I'm sick of having acne. I'm turning 36 next month and I still get breakouts. It's frustrating. Like I today I woke up with a bunch of little zits, so I'm over it. I've been doing the elimination diet for six weeks. Anyways, that is completely unrelated to empties video, but I do at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you all of the products that I had to get rid of that are rated five or worse on the EWG. I'm also gonna link the EWG below if you wanna check out your products as well, if you're feeling like your hormones might be off or you just have some weird things going on because I think it's time that we start pushing back on brands and saying, hey, your products are messing with us, so stop it. Stop using these ingredients. You can make great products that don't have these ingredients. Brands have been proving it for years, stop it. So. That's my opinion on that. But anyways, let's get into my empties video today. So I'm gonna start with this toothpaste. And it's cool because it has this little twisty thing that helps you squeeze all of the product out of it. So it's from David's and this is a fluoride-free toothpaste and it has nano hydroxy appetite. So it's really good for people with sensitive teeth or people that are cavity prone, but it's also going to remineralize your teeth. And so if you're cutting out fluoride, the whole thing with fluoride is everybody needs it because our teeth will basically evaporate without it. It's so not true. I haven't used fluoride for years and this is a really good toothpaste with nano hydroxy appetite, which if you are going fluoride free and you feel like your enamel is a little bit weak or you are prone to cavities, I recommend this one. I do like it. No, it doesn't taste like Crest toothpaste. The only toothpaste that is somewhat close to Crest that is fluoride free is called Moon. And I do like it. I'm going to link both of those below. But if you're looking for Nano Hydroxy Appetite, I do like this one. So next is Super Goop's Bright Eyed. This is a 100% mineral eye cream. It has SPF 40 and the active ingredient is zinc. So it's 14.4% zinc. This one is a couple years old. It actually just expired though in March. And I found that it was really hard to rub in, but I talked to a few of my followers on Instagram that use the same product because we don't put enough sunscreen around our eyes. And that is the first area that shows age. So you really do want to wear sunscreen around your eyes if you're gonna be out in the sun. I do have my thoughts on sunscreen where I can explain that later if you're interested, but this they actually said that it's a lot less thick, so they must have reformulated it, and everybody says that they love it. So it's brightening, it actually is a little bit tinted, and it kind of looks like under eye concealer, it just brightens your whole eye area. So I do like that, and if you are looking for a good eye sunscreen, I would say give this one a shot. I think it's really important to pay attention to our eyes, and I didn't find that this one irritated my eyes at all. Okay, one of my all-time favorite products from Tan Lux. I have a whole YouTube video where I go through their whole lineup. They might have added new products in the past few years because I think it's like a year or two old, but this is one of the best. So it's called the Instant Hero Skin Perfector, and it's an illuminating wash off body bronzer. So it's basically like body makeup, and it works so well. It makes your skin look absolutely flawless and just gorgeous and beautiful and hides all your little veins and imperfections. If you forgot to put self tanner on and you wanna wear shorts or a dress, you can throw this on. I love it. There is a drugstore dupe, it's actually the Sally Hansen Lotion. 
It's obviously less expensive. I think it's like one third of the price of this one. But if I had to pick between the two, I would always pick the Tanlex one. Tanlex is actually a clean beauty brand and I like a lot of their ingredients. Okay, next is clean hair products. So I have been looking for clean hair products and it is not easy. I feel like switching out your makeup and your skincare is so much easier than hair products for some reason. And so I did test the JVN. This is the Embody Daily Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. And I really enjoyed them. I highly recommend these. They were amazing. They are a little bit more expensive, but I feel like if you're gonna splurge on hair products anyways, give these a shot. Okay, now some hair products that I didn't love was Innersense. So this is another super clean beauty brand and I tested four products from them that these are actually still full. I just could not get into them. And what's really funny is I went to see my hairdresser about a month ago now and we were chatting about Innersense and she was like, I was surprised when you were posting those products because it is not for your hair type. Like they do not market for your hair type. I don't know why they would ship you all those products, but it's really for people with like curly, coily hair, which I obviously do not have. I have the straightest, most straight hair you could ever imagine. So I don't know why they sent it to me either. I wish they would have just told me that and I could have saved myself some of this headache, but their leave-in conditioner, I mean, I have not found a replacement for my all-time favorite, Unite 7 Seconds. The Unite 7 Seconds is the best leave-in conditioning, detangling product ever. If you have tangly hair or you just want a good heat protectant, you spray this on your hair after you towel dry it. It's so good. So I probably mentioned this in every single one of my empties videos. I've used it for years, but the Unite one is absolutely amazing. The Innersense one, so it's called Sweet Spirit Leave-In Conditioner. They say it's a lightweight detangling spray. The smell, you guys know I'm sensitive to smells and the smell of this I just could not get into and I also felt like it didn't work on my hair. My hair isn't even that tangly and this still didn't do much for me so I would say save your money and just don't get the inner sense one. I have actually been using the Euphora one and I've been really enjoying it but the Unite is just my go-to. So I would say Unite or Euphora, amazing detangling leave-in treatments. Innersense, not so much. I also tried the Innersense I Create Finish. This is the workable hairspray. It did not work in my hair, but again, I, I don't know if I can necessarily fault these products just because they're not for my hair type. I just felt like it kind of was, it was stiff and it didn't really make my curls last any longer. It was weird. I just didn't like how they left my hair feeling. So if you have hair like mine, I would not recommend this which is a bummer because they do make some of the cleanest hair products that I have found. And they even have unscented hair products, which is like unheard of, which I don't know if I would necessarily want unscented, but if you're going down like the super, super clean where you don't want any fragrance in your life, that could be an option for you. But if you don't have curly, coily hair, I, I don't know, I can't speak to it yet. Okay, and then their um, hydrating cream, hair bath, shampoo, and conditioner. So again, same thing. I just felt like I couldn't get into these products. I didn't love the fragrance. They just didn't work for my hair type. Now, Innersense does have a hair oil that I love. I cannot remember what it's called. I will link it below. It's so lightweight. It smells amazing. Like I wish all of their products smelled like this hair oil. They don't, I don't know why, but I it's one of my all time favorite products and it, I, so I, that's kind of what started that whole thing with Innersense was I posted about this hair oil and then they were like, oh, we'll send you more products. And then they sent me all their products and I didn't like any of the other ones, except they do have a candle that's also in the hair scent, which I love. So they sent me that and I burn it. I love it. But yeah, I, it's a bummer because I really did want to like them. But if you're looking for clean hair products, try JVN. I was very impressed with those. Okay, next is Jan Marini's Bioglycolic Face Cleanser. So if you buy the Jan Marini starter kit, it's, I mean, it's so expensive. It's not like a beginner kit if you're new to skincare, but if you are really struggling with your skin, it is amazing. And it comes with this Bioglycolic Cleanser. It comes with their Vitamin C Serum. Their, um, what is that acid called? I love the acid and I'm totally 
blanking on the name, and then their moisturizer, and then their sunscreen. But it's like $300 or something crazy. So this cleanser comes in that set. Here's my thing with face wash. If you're new here, I say do not spend your money on face wash. Like this is a glycolic acid based cleanser. It's going to be on your face for a minute. Yes, it can exfoliate your skin, but it's not necessary. You can use other products that can do the same thing that don't cost quite as much as this. Now, Jan Marini does have a benzoyl peroxide face wash. And if you have acne prone skin, I do really like that for acne prone, like cystic, just major breakouts. For some reason, my skin cannot handle benzoyl peroxide as like a serum, but in a face wash, it can. So if you are the same way where your face gets really itchy and you just can't handle it, try the face wash instead. And I do love that one, but also Penoxyl, which is a drugstore benzoyl peroxide face wash fraction of the price. So again, I don't think you need to be spending a ton of money on face wash, but I do, I like Jan Marini products. Her philosophy with skincare is you can exfoliate every day. She goes really hard on active ingredients every single day. And some people just cannot handle that. If you're one of those people, I don't think you would love Jan Marini products. Plus they're very heavily fragranced which is a bummer, like her vitamin C and her moisturizers, the fragrance is just overpowering to me, but her products do work. They are very effective. If you want a quick fix to make your skin look amazing, I have so many blog posts and YouTubes about her products because I just love her so much. Moving on. <laughs> okay, CEO from Sunday Riley. This is a 15% vitamin C brightening serum. I stopped using vitamin C serums about a year and a half ago. My skin was just not tolerating them anymore, so I actually switched to another product, which I actually have an empty of. It's the Ordinary Buffet. It's the Copper Peptides, and peptides are really, really good for anti-aging. So the reason people use vitamin C, and you'll hear so many people swear by it. They say it's the best ingredient on the planet. There's other products that can do the same thing, but basically it's an antioxidant. So it's going to protect your skin from the daily elements. It's going to, basically if your skin cells are damaged, they're not going to look their best. So you want antioxidants to protect them from pollution and just things in our everyday life that could cause cell damage. That's what an antioxidant's gonna do. And then they're brightening and they can help with anti-aging. But there's so many products that do all of those things as well. So if you're finding that your skin isn't tolerating vitamin C serum anymore, try The Ordinary's Copper Peptides. I love them. They're super gentle. They don't freak my skin out. The Ordinary is actually pretty clean as a brand overall. I mean, there are some ingredients that will just never be clean, like retinol. But I'm actually always surprised to see how clean the Ordinary products are. I will link both of these below, but I highly recommend the Ordinary one. Now, with this CEO Sunday Riley Vitamin C Serum, I found that it was a little bit too thick for my skin. So I actually had my husband use it. He, does, he isn't as picky with how things feel on his skin because he just loads it up at night. So he puts all his products on at night and then during the day he literally just does sunscreen, which whatever works, right? But he didn't mind it. I didn't love it. I, I don't know. I, I feel like there isn't really a Sunday Riley product that I have been completely in love with. I just think that they're good, but I think that they are a little bit overpriced. A product that isn't overpriced that I absolutely loved was the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. So I have been really focusing on double cleansing every single night. So you want to grab a cleansing balm or a cleansing oil, which lately I've been using the DHC one and loving it, but this one's also amazing and it's super affordable. So what you do is you put it on dry skin on top of your makeup if you're wearing makeup and you just massage it in for 60 seconds and then you get your hands damp massage it in a little bit more and then you rinse it off and then you go in with your face wash and you will find that your pores will be completely cleared out if you do this consistently for even just a week you will i mean the difference is amazing so i highly recommend incorporating a cleansing balm into your routine and this one from good molecules is really good Okay, a face wash that I loved, Versed. So Versed is a clean beauty brand and the Wash It Out Gel Cleanser is really nice. It's gentle, it's like a very light lathering cleanser. It makes your skin feel clean but not dry. It's affordable. 
I already have my second bottle of this lined up. I'm a big fan of Verse products. I also love their gel moisturizer. So if you're on the hunt for just a super basic moisturizer, check that one out. Although I did check it for pore clogging ingredients and it does have one ingredient that could potentially clog your pores. So just a heads up there. Another cleanser I absolutely loved was Thayer's. So you guys know I love Thayer's toner. I've been using it forever. I use toner because our water is disgusting. The, the pipes that our water comes through are so gross. If you've ever seen me post those on Instagram, it's, it's well, it makes you want to gag. And that's what we're washing our hair with. We're washing our dishes. We're brushing our teeth. I mean, we're drinking this water and it is disgusting. So I've used toner forever. It's toner, but I, I like to think that it's just wiping all that grime off of my skin. And then of course it has other ingredients as well that are benefiting for your skin. But Thayer's came out with this pH balancing daily cleanser. It's 5% aloe vera and it's fragrance free, oil free, sulfate free, non comedogenic according to this. I actually should look up the ingredients. Although it's a face wash, it's on your skin for a minute. You wash it off and then you use toner. So face washes I'm not too picky with. This one I actually really did love. It's a little bit bigger bottle than the first one. So if you had to pick between the two, I would actually choose the Thayer's just because you get a lot of bang for your buck. Speaking of toners, I have been using Snail Mucin Toner from Peach Slices. I just posted a blog post with all of the benefits of Snail Mucin, especially for acne prone skin. It's super good at keeping your acne in check but it's just gonna clarify, it strengthens your skin, your moisture barrier, it makes your skin feel hydrated, but it's not heavy. So if you've tried snail mucin, but you didn't love, which I don't know anybody that doesn't love the COSRX snail mucin serum, but if you didn't love it and you wanna still incorporate it in your routine, try this toner. I absolutely love it. I actually see that there's a little bit of product left, so I don't know why this is in my empties, but I'm gonna use this up because I love it. We're keeping that. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This has pore clogging ingredients, so I never really got into testing it because I've been hearing people say that for years and I was just not interested and I do not care, I don't wanna know. The few times I did test this, I didn't know what to do with it. Like I have a friend that just puts it on her whole face. She has flawless skin and she just wears it as her foundation because it is a little tinted but for me, it was like, do I put this under foundation? Because I don't ever not wear foundation if I'm wearing makeup. Like, I just love foundation. And I just didn't know how to use it. I, I feel like it didn't make my skin look any more glowy. I had people tell me it made their skin look like it was, like, angels kissed it. And I'm like, why is my... I have no difference with this. I don't get it. And it's pretty expensive. So I personally would not recommend this. I feel like such an asshole, but there aren't that many Charlotte Tilbury products I like, except her lip liners. Those are truly the best product, but they last so well. If you want a good long-lasting lip liner, try Charlotte Tilbury. Otherwise, I don't really love any of her other products. This is a drugstore product. I actually did a YouTube review on this a couple years ago, and then I tested it. It's the Tanologist Tan Eraser Self Tan Eraser and Primer. So. Tested this last week again because this bottle has just been sitting in my cabinet for years and I don't ever reach for it. And now I remember why, because it barely works. It kind of works, but some, like, when you want to get your self tan off, you just want something that will get it off and this does not get it off. So <laughs> I have a few other ones that I like. There's a new brand I've been testing. I cannot remember the name of it right now. It's like, I think they're based out of England but I will link it below. It's a little scrub and it works so well to remove your self tanner. So I'm going to link that below. I'm sorry. I cannot think of the name. Um, more hair products. So Bosley, Bosley Mend Extend. This is their strengthening shampoo and conditioner. And I actually really enjoyed them like a lot. This is leaking. I really enjoyed them. I feel like they made my hair look so good and like just it felt good in my hair. It made it feel and look so healthy and smooth and sleek. And the whole point of this is to help make your hair grow longer. So Bosley started as like men's hair growth products, which Steve actually used. 
And then I did a collab with them, which is why I tested this. I would have never bought this on my own because I am not losing my hair, but I'm glad I got to test it because I really, really enjoyed it. So if you are experiencing hair loss, you might want to try these. My only complaint is it's a little expensive for what you get. These bottles are 5.1 ounces and I went through it pretty fast. And I hate, I wish shampoo companies would make their shampoo bottles bigger because we all double cleanse our shampoo and then just use one conditioner or we use a mask or we use something else. I find myself always using up the shampoos long before I use up the conditioner and I just, that's annoying to me. Okay, another Tanlex product that I love is the butter. So it's an illuminating tanning lotion and it makes your skin look so beautiful. It does have some like sheen to it. So if you don't wanna look shiny, you might not like it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like you're gonna go in the sun and you're gonna look disgusting. It just makes your skin look really beautiful. And this one does tan you. So over a couple hours, you will notice that your skin is starting to darken. I like to bring this on vacation. So I'll do like a full body tan with Coco and Eve or something where I'm going to get the deepest, darkest color. And then I bring a tanning lotion on vacation to rehydrate my skin and keep my tan until I go back home. You can use that daily, which is nice. So it just builds this nice gradual tan for you. Okay. Another hair product that I really liked is from K18. This is their peptide prep pH maintenance shampoo. I don't know if I would repurchase. I don't think it's like the best shampoo I've ever tried. I don't love the fragrance, but it did make my hair feel good and clean and shiny and all the things you want in a shampoo. I just, I feel like if you're going to splurge on K18 products, just get their serum that's going to help rebuild your hair. I, I don't really think that their oil that they just came out with and their shampoos are completely necessary. I think there's other better products out there. This was a bummer to me. It's the Liss or Love Yourself is the makeup brand. It's Clean Beauty Triple Fix Serum Foundation. It looks so good on my skin and every single time I wear it, I break out. <laughs> and I found that their other products were breaking me out too. So I actually included those in the Sunday's video. Their Satin Matte Cream Blush, which has pore clogging ingredients as well. A lot of clean beauty brands have pore clogging ingredients, which is really frustrating. But if you don't have acne prone skin, you would probably love this foundation. It gives you the most beautiful looking finish. It's absolutely stunning on your skin. It's good coverage. It's just, ugh, I'm so upset about it, but it just does not work for my skin type. And I do really enjoy their cream bronzing stick. It's like a contour stick, but you can use it as bronzer. They do tend to run a little bit more orange than cool tone. You wanna to use a cool tone as a contour, like in the hollow of your cheek or right below it. And then you use the bronzer on top of your cheek where it's like the sun would naturally hit you. And it blends so well, but of course it has pore clogging ingredients. So I'm stopping using it. I didn't get rid of it though, because I absolutely love it. And I found that I, I it's hard to tell if that product is breaking me out, but every time I would wear the foundation, I know for a fact that it did break me out okay a product from list that i do not recommend so the love yourself eyeshadow palette it had so much fallout so i don't recommend this it was beautiful i love the colors and it's such a chic packaging it's like these little triangles but it was just not worth it like you put on all of your makeup and then you do your eyes and it's just all over your cheeks no thank you Okay, sunscreen that I do not recommend. Peter Thomas Roth Max Mineral Tinted Sunscreen. It's SPF 45. And this one has 1.93% titanium dioxide and 19.24% zinc. I wanted to like it. It's a beautiful finish, but it does not dry down and it just feels gross for hours. So it's just not worth it. I even had Steve test it and he didn't like it either. Okay, hair products that I love, Moroccan oil. They're not clean, of course, but they have my all-time favorite dry shampoo. If you want the best dry shampoo, it's the Moroccan oil one and I use the color light and it has a little bit of purple tint to it. So it just, if your hair is looking a little yellow, it will just kind of brighten everything. The best dry shampoo, truly. But, well, it's not volumizing. If you like volumizing, you probably wouldn't like it. It just makes your hair feel clean and just, you can run your fingers through it and it still isn't gross feeling. But anyway, the, um, so I've never actually tried their shampoo and conditioner. So I tried their Color Care. 
the set and I loved it. It just smells great, it makes your hair feel amazing. I mean, Moroccan oil is just incredible. I just wish they were clean. Okay, Vegamore. I think that's how you pronounce it. This is their Grow Ageless Anti-Gray Hair Serum. I had Steve test this for, he probably used it for five months because he's starting to go gray. I'm starting to go gray too. I wasn't sure if I could use it when I was pregnant, so I just stopped using it and then I stopped testing it. The only thing I didn't like about it is it's a serum. So you apply it on your hair and I don't know, I just felt like it would make my hair look greasy. It doesn't, it dries down and it's just fine. But we notice no difference and it's very expensive so I do not recommend this for anti-gray. There's so many different factors that can cause your gray hair so a serum that has some ingredients is probably not really going to help you. They say that I think it's copper, like a copper supplement can actually help with your gray hairs if you have a copper deficiency. It's cool, I feel like there are studies coming out that are reversing people's gray hairs but that serum unfortunately did not work. So I've been trying to find body washes that are super clean and pipette I actually love. This is their vanilla and ylang ylang. <laughs> it's clean, non-toxic, tear-free baby shampoo and wash and I really enjoyed it. I this is probably one of my favorite clean body washes. I really really like it. it Ritual. So I got their prenatals when I was pregnant. In case you missed it, I had a miscarriage back in January, but um, I'm okay. <laughs> it was really traumatic at the time. I have a blog post if you want to learn more about my experience, but um, I also have a highlight on my Instagram where I share the actual experience of what happened. If you want to watch it, 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 it was extremely traumatic, but time has passed. I'm, I'm doing better, but I did obviously buy prenatals for while I was pregnant and the ritual prenatal vitamin is so gross so it's lemon flavored and it just I, I couldn't get past it and I feel like the ingredients just weren't as great they didn't have all of the things that I wanted a few people recommended them to me so I bought it because I was just you find out you're pregnant and you're like oh my god there's so much stuff I have to do right now like all of a sudden and so I just felt overwhelmed and I bought this and I didn't like them at all Alta MD this is their UV clear broad spectrum SPF and I like it. It's just a really basic, decent sunscreen. It has 9% zinc and 7.5% octanoxate. <laughs> These ingredients, you know I never can pronounce them. <laughs> but it was fine. It's safe for acne prone skin, so they say. I actually haven't looked at the ingredients because I don't plan to repurchase this. It's just, it's just there. It's not like the best sunscreen I've used. I do have a favorite clean sunscreen. It's super clean ingredients that I will link below. I forget what the brand is. It's I get it on Amazon. I'm totally blanking on that as well, but I will link it below. It's I think it's better than Elta by far. I also found an Elta dupe to their tinted one that is clean. So some of their products are more clean and some are less clean, but this is a drugstore dupe. It's the Eucerin Tinted Sunscreen. You can and it is a legit dupe for the tinted Elta. So if you don't want to spend $40 on the sunscreen, you'd rather spend $14, try that one. But I actually stopped wearing sunscreen every day. I only wear sunscreen if I know I'm going to be spending hours in the sun. I don't think sunscreen is necessarily the best thing for us. I'm, I'm just really struggling with why do I have to wear it all day every day? If it's gloomy outside, if I didn't leave my house, if like, why do I need to reapply? I just, all, like skin cancer rates are skyrocketing. I'm going to do a deeper dive into sunscreen soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I, I don't know. I'm just not sold on it. And I have melasma, so like coming from me, that's a lot because I used to be such a sunscreen pusher trying to keep my melasma in check. But I'm learning that there's other things that could be what's causing our issues in our life and like seed oils for example which this is a whole rabbit hole i will not go down that right now but if you're interested stay tuned subscribe or follow me this is a cult classic product it's from erna laszlo it's the normalizer shake it tinted treatment this is this might be the weirdest beauty product i have ever seen like truly ever so it's a toner and it separates so you have to shake it but it has like a tint to it. 
but I do not know how to use it. And the second ingredient is alcohol denat, which I, I'm sorry, but no, I don't need to be rubbing alcohol on my face every single day. So people say that it mattifies their skin and they can use this instead of makeup and it's just the best thing since sliced bread. People who use this love it and it's like $80. <laughs> I personally, I used it like twice and I was just like, this is the weirdest thing to use. Like it dries down and it looks like you have a powder on your skin. I just, I don't get it. I, I do not get the hype. And I think they discontinued it and then they brought it back. And that's one of those products that could probably stay discontinued. <laughs> okay, Jane Iredale. Yeah, I, Jane Iredale. She's supposedly super clean makeup. She sent me, or they sent me some of their bronzers to try. So it's interesting. This was like, has one, two, has four different colors of the bronzer highlighter. Every single time I tried it, I would leave with this giant dark streak on my cheek. It didn't matter how I tried to blend it. It didn't matter what I did. It just did not work for my skin. I do, I do not recommend it. I don't even know what it's called because the packaging doesn't say, <laughs> but it's the, it's the four colored highlighter bronzer from Jane Iredale. Just skip this product. I, I don't get it at all. Ilia Limitless Mascara. This is a, one of my all-time favorite mascaras, but this tube, I always keep my mascaras for way too long, like probably a year. And it's weird because this one was really good for a long time, and then all of a sudden it just started flaking. But I like it. It's clean, it makes your lashes look big and voluminous and amazing, but it, it, it can flake, I guess, over time. I don't use mascara every day, so maybe if I use this consistently for three months, it, it wouldn't have happened. But I do like it. I also think that clean beauty brands, like expensive mascara, isn't necessarily worth it. A lot of drugstore products are clean. So again, if you're questioning the products you're using, just look them up on the EWG. I just looked up Maybelline Sky High, and this is a clean mascara. It's from the drugstore. So I don't, I never recommend splurging on mascara. Just don't waste your money. Another expensive mascara I didn't like was Lawless, the one and done. I actually don't like majority of the Lawless products I've tried. There's a few I like, but this mascara was just so clumpy. It got really dry and clumpy really fast. So it's expensive and I don't think it's worth it. And then I know I have another mascara. Oh, the Rare Beauty one. I have friends that swear by this. Same thing, it just got clumpy and it just wasn't that impressive to me. I don't know, like these are all expensive mascaras and I'm looking in my makeup drawer right now and I just have so many more drugstore ones that I love more, like just more. I, I don't think these mascaras are worth it. Have you heard of Westman Atelier products? These are extremely expensive, super clean, high, high end makeup. And Credo Beauty sent me their lit up highlight stick. I don't get this because it doesn't dry down like even if you look at it right now, it's shiny because it doesn't dry down. And so you put this on top of your makeup to make you look glowy and you just look greasy and wet. So you, the time I tested it, three times I tested it, I was pissed because all of a sudden my whole makeup look was ruined. <laughs> I just, I would skip this one. I've heard amazing things about their products, like their blushes and their foundations are amazing supposedly, but this I would absolutely skip. And what's funny, is, I mean, maybe if you have super dry skin, you might like it. I just saw that Sophia Richie used it in one of her Get Ready With Me, so it's probably gonna sell out everywhere. I don't recommend it. It is so expensive and just not worth it. Next is La Roche-Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. This is a TikTok viral product that is absolutely worth it. It really, if your skin barrier is messed up, if you have chapped dry skin like literally anything wrong with your skin put this on it and it will heal it what's crazy is it has shea butter which is a pore clogging ingredient but it never did anything to my skin <sighs> which is so frustrating because i'm just thinking about all the makeup that i i didn't get rid of it but i moved it aside for now because it has pore clogging ingredients and a lot of them just had shea butter so i don't know i who knows how they're formulated and what other things are going on in these products that are making me break out, if it's even these products. But this one never made me break out. It's actually really good for breakouts. I recommend it. 
I would definitely, actually I already have my next bottle. <laughs> Okay, my all-time favorite cuticle remover, it's from Cure, it's called Fresh Glow. But no, it's by London Town, and it's called Cure Fresh Glow, and it is so good. It's kind of expensive, this little bottle, but it did last me a really long time. I do my nails every week, and this lasted me a year, so I recommend it. It's like this little brush on cuticle remover, and then you leave it for like 30 seconds, and then you grab your cuticle stick and push. You never trim your cuticles. You just want to push them. And I have lots of nail tutorials that I will link below in case you want to learn how I do my nails. But this one, when you push it, you can kind of see like, it almost looks like your nail is being exfoliated off. It's not, but it just, it's very satisfying to use. This is definitely going to be a repurchase for me because I love it so much. And everyone I know that's tried it loves it too. Circadia. So this is a product you can only get from an esthetician and this is their Hydrolox facial oil. So my esthetician gave me this to try because my skin was so irritated and she was like, I literally, do not use anything else on your skin for one month. Please give your skin a break. And so I used this and then I used their moisturizer. It's like their balm moisturizer. That's all I used and it healed my skin. So I do really like Circadia products. I haven't tried them all, but if you're looking for something soothing to fix a damaged skin barrier and you want more professional grade products, then find an esthetician that uses Circadia because I'm very, very happy with it. And I like how easily it dried down. Some oils are super thick and if you use them during the day, you just hate your life because they don't dry. This one dries down beautifully and makes your skin look so glowy. Another thing that I found with using, because I've been using oils more in my skincare routine anyways, my pores are clearer. So double cleansing at night with an oil cleanser or a balm and then using oil in my skincare as well has made my pores look so much smaller and just it's it's not aggressive but oil is attracting the oil in your pore basically so it's kind of just it's like removing the oil out of your pore i i, I don't really know how to explain it that's sciencey but it just works i promise you my pores are usually really big on my nose and they always fill up and they still do fill up, but not nearly as bad since I've started using oils and double cleansing. Okay, if you have greasy eyelids, this eyelid primer will change your life. It's from Laura Mercier, and it's called Eye Basics. And I use color linen. I also have flax and wheat, or I used to have them. I've used them up. I have darker eyelids, so I like linen because if I'm going to do an eye makeup look and I want the eyeshadow to actually show up, I use this as a base, and it works so well. But I actually just started testing the Ilia one because Ilia is a clean beauty brand. It's called Liquid Powder Chromatic Eye Tint and then I got color Glaze. So it's got a little shimmer to it, which is all I really use for eyeshadow on most days is just a light shimmer, like champagne color. So I actually really like it, but it, they both dry down so fast. So have your brush handy when you use these and just get ready to brush them all over your eyelid really fast because they dry, but they're so effective and they will always be something I restock because I need it. I have greasy eyelids and my eyeshadow just does not stay in place without them. Okay, I got this Aquaphor Lip Repair Stick and Sunscreen. It has SPF 30, and I know some people are like huge Aquaphor fans. I, it's fine, I mean, it, it's whatever. I know some people use it on their lips every single day. I don't. I actually, it doesn't have the best ingredients, but this is a chemical sunscreen lip balm and it tastes so bad. If a product tastes bad, for some reason, any lip product, it instantly goes in my mouth and I'm tasting it. So this I do not recommend if you are like me. I do think it's important to wear sunscreen on your lips, especially if you're in the sun all day and you're not wearing a hat or using any sort of shade, but this Aquaphor one is not it. Yeah, I don't really have one that has sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> which is like, I, yeah, I should look for one. I, I was looking for one last year and then I stopped wearing sunscreen, so that's probably what happened. Okay, another one, this is Sunbum Tinted Sunscreen Lip Balm. It has SPF 15, and I've tried these a few times over the years. I remember when they first came out and I was so excited, and then they sent me this last year. Same thing happened, where it gets this weird, bumpy, like, texture thing to it, and it's like, it almost feels like you're rubbing sand on your lips. I don't know why. The color just doesn't spread evenly. 
It smells good, but I, I don't recommend these at all. They just don't last, like they don't work. And I also never really got into the colors. Okay, Necessaire, the deodorant gel. I have this in the eucalyptus scent and I love it. If, like, this was my go-to last summer. I barely used any of the product because I don't really wear deodorant in the winter if I'm not sweating. And it started growing things in the bottom. So that's gonna happen. It's a clean beauty brand. I'm not faulting this product. I just didn't use it fast enough, but I do, I really, really liked it. And it, you put it on, it smells like nothing and it dries down and feels like nothing. It doesn't get all over your clothes. It's just a really good deodorant. And this one also has acids in it. And so I think for, I don't know why they would put acid in deodorant other than to neutralize odors or maybe like help with ingrown hairs or bumps. But I do like this. It also comes in an unscented version. Kosas Sport Good Body Skin Body Wash. I wouldn't waste your money on this. I, it, it just wasn't impressive to me. It was fine, it lathered, it was okay. It was just not, I wouldn't buy it again. Two CeraVe products that I love. CeraVe sometimes is clean, sometimes isn't, but they're just good basics. And like the hydrating facial cleanser is amazing if you have sensitive skin. Lately, I've been using a cream cleanser in the morning. I've been using the La Roche-Posay one and I really like it, but this is also the CeraVe one is a really good option. And then the CeraVe moisturizing cream, same thing. It's a heavier cream. So it's not super heavy where it's like you could definitely not wear it under makeup, but it is one of those products that's a little bit thicker than let's say like a gel moisturizer. They're just good. They're just good basics. I'll always be a CeraVe fan. Okay, I tried a clean moisturizer. This is from Beekman 1802 and it's their Bloom Cream Daily Moisturizer. Probably used it like five times and I just never got into it. And that's so rare for me with a moisturizer because it's just, they're so basic, but I, I don't know. I just, it just didn't wow me. I just don't recommend it, which is bizarre. <laughs> okay, a product from Lawless that I do like, but I hate the packaging. The Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. Big fan. It's, it, I wouldn't say it's plumping where it hurts, but it just, you wake up and you feel like your lips are really hydrated. I actually changed the packaging of this. So I take it out of this and then I put it in a squeeze lip balm tube and I like it way more. I, I wish no brands would ever use pots for anything. Moisturizer, eye cream, masks, like just use a squeeze tube. I hate it, <laughs> but I do like this and I'm gonna link the squeeze tubes below. I like this more than the Laneige lip mask, personally. I just think that the smell is a little bit better. I have the Sweet Dreams one and I like it. Okay, a product that's definitely not worth how much it costs is the Murad Hydration Sensitive Skin Soothing Serum. I don't understand why this costs so much. <laughs> and I don't even know what it's for. Like hydration so it's like a hyaluronic acid based serum i'm assuming it doesn't even say on the bottle which i hate so I, like i'm supposed to just remember what all my products do <laughs> they sent this to me in like a big pr box and honestly i i haven't really loved any of the murad products that i've tried i just don't think they're necessarily worth what they cost i think they're nice but they're not worth it okay the josie marin pure argon milk so this is a really nice moisturizer. It's like a, it's like an oil-based moisturizer, but it, it is more creamy than oily. And it's heavy though. So if you don't like heavy moisturizers, you probably won't like this, or you could just use it at night. But I am a big fan. I think that it's just one of, it, it is one of my favorite moisturizers. And it's also a clean beauty brand. One of the best foundations from MAC. This is their Studio Fix Fluid. It is SPF 15 and this bottle is probably five years old so I'm finally just getting rid of it and it smells so strong like I, I just rarely use it. I used to use it every single day and now I don't use it at all but one thing that was really surprising to me is MAC lipsticks are actually really clean so I'd be curious to see if this foundation was. If you're looking for a good long lasting foundation MAC is I mean, it, it is one of the best. The Osmosis Skin Perfecting Elixir. This is such an interesting product. And it's a, it's literally just water with gold flakes in it, but it's good for people with rosacea. It's good for people with acne. 
I took it for about five weeks. I just went through one bottle and I posted about it on my Instagram and I had a couple of people message me saying that they bought it and it helped them like within days. So I think it's cool. It didn't work for me like that, but it's worth a shot if you're struggling with some things. I think my skin is more like gut health issues than I, I honestly don't know. I, I don't know how to explain how this woo woo magic product works. If you look at the ingredients, it's literally just water and you just spray five pumps in your mouth, but people swear by this. Okay, product to skip is the Bondi Sands Pure Self Tanning Drops. They have hyaluronic acid and vitamin C and they give you zero color. <laughs> it's just not worth it. I like some Bonnie Sands products, but this is not one of them. One I do love from Tan Lux, this is the face tanning drops. These will be my ride or die. I use these multiple times a week. They just make your skin look so good. They even out any pigmentation or if you have like red acne scars, they don't make you break out. They just so so good get the medium to dark and then you can use less drops of these you just add them into your serum or your moisturizer and they make your skin look so good the best all right so i'm a big glue on nail fan and the kiss acrylic natural i just wanted something really basic like right now i'm just wearing gel actually i kind of switched to gel because i was I was sick of trying to find a glue on nail that looked super natural. The best one I found so far is from Static Nails and it's the color Silk, but I mean, Static Nails are like $20 now. So I just wanted to experiment with having my own nails and putting gel on it. And I got this gel builder because gel does not last on me. My nails are so weak and flimsy, which is why I use dip or glue ons or even just acrylics. But this gel builder, I'm going to link it below. It's not an empty. I've only used it once so far, but these are a week old and they're holding strong. I am obsessed. But anyways, these were the worst nails. <laughs> these Kiss ones, they got matte. They, they looked matte almost immediately. Like they never had any gloss to them and they're just supposed to look like your nail, but like better they looked like shit. And the glue underneath just did not work for them. Like I, Usually I like Kiss glue on nails and these were a definite hard pass. Okay, one of the most expensive masks I think I've ever used is from Orlane. I'm pretty sure this is expensive, but it's their anti-fatigue absolute mask and it kind of smells like baby powder, but if you are going to an event, you have to get this mask. It is so good. It makes your skin look glowy and lifted for hours. It's just truly one of the best. You can just put it right under your eyes if they're looking puffy. It's so, so good. Okay, a product that is not worth it. And I don't even know if they sell this anymore. I'm pretty sure they still do, but it's the Bio Effect EGF Serum. And it's supposed to help your skin just, it, it, it's basically like the ultimate anti-aging serum. It's so sticky and it never dries down. Like I didn't even finish this bottle. I just hated this product so much. And this is so expensive save your money. A clean beauty product. This is from Alpen Beauty. It's their Plant Genius Line Filling Eye Balm. I really wanted to like this, but it made me break out around my eyes. And so I'm actually not the biggest eye cream person. I feel like it's just kind of a scam. If you, Unless you get Milia, if you're very prone to Milia and you need specific formulations for the eye area, Milia are those white dots. They look like whiteheads, but they're impossible to pop then you definitely want an eye cream. And something with like a retinol eye cream would be good for you, but honestly, you can use retinol pretty close to under your eyes and that's gonna help with anti-aging and just plumping the skin, the collagen, and smoothing things out that way. So I actually just use my regular retinol up to my eyes and I've never had any issues with that. If you're using tretinoin, it might be a little bit more irritating at first, so maybe just go very light or apply it on top of your moisturizer and then put the tretinoin around your under eyes. I don't put it on my eyelids, but yeah. The Alpha Beauty didn't work for me. This was an interesting product. So I've been testing clean dental products and this one's from EcoDent and it's a powder. And it's the Original Mint Baking Soda Tooth Powder. I hated it, it tasted so bad. So you literally just like put some of the like drop it onto your toothbrush and then brush your teeth with it. And I just, I used it for like two weeks and I was like, what am I doing? Like life is too short to hate your toothpaste. I hated that product. Okay, this one, 
I, I don't know why I had high expectations. I'm, oh, I do know why TikTok. They, they really sell you on things, but this is the Ordinary's Multi-Peptide Lash and Brow Serum. And coming from Grande Lash or Lilash, which those serums make your eyelashes look so amazing. And then going to this where it doesn't have the prostaglandin analog ingredient. So it doesn't work. So I literally use it for three months and my lashes went back to their baseline state. I made a TikTok about it. It went super viral. Everyone was freaking out because people on TikTok were swearing about this product and it does not work like at all. And so I didn't bald. Like I felt like I was balding, but I was really just going back to my lashes before I put any serum on. So it's like spend $15 and have no results or spend 60 to a hundred dollars and have the most amazing results and like grande lash or lilash and those serums last forever. So if you want to see my results, I have a video where I compare grande lash and lilash. The only reason I would suggest lilash over grande is because people have more eye irritation with grande lash. Whereas with lilash, I've never heard of anybody having any sort of reaction. But grande lash, I've heard of a lot of people having reactions. So I do want to talk about prostaglandin analogs because they get a really bad rep, which I, I understand. It's People say that it can darken your eye color, it can darken your eyelids, it's super irritating. Some people say that it can thin the skin and make your eye area lose fat, and so it makes your eyes look more wrinkly. I've used eye serums for years and I've never experienced that, but I'm not saying those people are lying, I'm just saying it doesn't necessarily happen to everyone that uses it. Maybe over time you'll see it worse, but these people are claiming it happened to them almost immediately. So. I don't know. I don't know what to say there. I've been using them for years and haven't had issues and I I prefer, like I can't even use it every day because my lashes get too thick and too long that I don't like that look on me. <laughs> so I use it like twice a week now. I'm just in maintenance mode and my lashes stay long and full with it. I don't know. I, I'm a big lash serum fan. But speaking of lashes, this is this like TikTok viral mascara comb or a lash comb, I guess it would be. It looks crazy. It's like, it, it looks like a torture device, but you basically just comb your lashes out. And I think this only works for people that have thinner lashes. My Each individual hair of my lashes is very thick. And so whenever I would go to use this, it, it wouldn't brush through my lashes. And then people were like, oh, you have to do it when your mascara is wet. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll try it on wet mascara. Makes no difference. So if you want to brush your lashes out and just, I don't like clumps, but I like my lashes to look really full. I just use a spoolie and you can buy them in bulk on Amazon. They work so well and they're so cheap and it works just fine. So this comb, if it works for you, great. I have friends that swear by it. It does not work for me. Okay, almost done here. So Skin Medica has their HA lip system. So it's like $70 and it's basically supposed to plump your lips. It's hyaluronic acid based. And so it's a two step system. You put on step one, which tastes so bad. And then you put on step two and it almost feels like a lip balm that you could just wear this all day and be happy. If step one didn't taste so bad, I actually would really like this, but because it tastes so bad, I just rarely use it. But when I did use these, they do make my lips look bigger. It's just the taste. But once you put the second step on, it's okay. I don't know. I, I $70. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than lip filler, but you know. Okay, Rose Ink. This is their lipstick. And I got color Demure. And it's just too pink for me, but the lipstick itself is actually amazing. This is a clean beauty brand. It's actually Rosie Huntington's brand. And the lipstick lasts a very long time. It's very good for a clean lipstick. It's a very expensive, but it does work. So if you're looking for a clean lipstick, if you can find a color you like, I've tried two of these now and I just can't find a color. They don't have a huge color range. So I wish they did because I would definitely try another one. All right, and those are all my empties from the past few months. I like doing empties hauls because it just shows you guys my opinions on everything I use. I'm always testing products behind the scenes. So even if you don't see me posting it on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or even on my blog, doesn't mean I'm not testing. So probably why my skin's always freaking out. But <laughs> hopefully if you've been on the fence about any of these products or curious or wanna try them, I helped you make that decision. If you have any questions or comments, 
leave them below or you can message me on Instagram or email me. I have all of my contact info below, but my Instagram handle is at lauren.erro. And I really appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time.